In today's Minecraft video, we have been trolled. Yep, it's happened again. Seems to just happen a lot in this server. Jelly has basically stopped us from being able to get to any of our items in my house. And honestly, I can't let this one slide. So I decided to fill his entire house with chance blocks. They're kind of like lucky blocks, but a uh, hundred times more destructive. Now, I'm just going to be using the basic chance blocks today. But if you want me to troll Craner with the giant chance blocks in the next video, click like right now down below. If you don't click like, that means you support Jelly and Craner. We don't really want your type around here. Anyway, let's get into it. Welcome back to our Minecraft modded server. And would you have guessed it? Uh, there's a bunch of signs outside of my house. And you know what that means. If there's signs, there's been a troll. So let's have a look what has happened. Jelly, it says Jelly right there. So I believe that means that Jelly has trolled us. Hang on a second, let me just read it. You've killed me using poisonous water. Oh yeah, for any of you that don't know, Jelly built a secret base inside of my basement. Let me show you. Right here. I managed to find it and uh, I made it so the floor is completely invisible. I just dropped my entire stack of bread. I'm such an idiot. But yeah, the entire floor is invisible. So he probably fell straight through it. And then I created a little troll that killed him with poisonous water. Sorry, bread. Uh, you have fun down there. So let's go read the signs and see what happened. I lost all my items upon death. I demand all to be returned. One full iron armor, three diamonds, one all iron tools, 30 bread. Well, I just threw that down there. And because of that, I've locked your chest and will give you the code once I have all my items returned to me. Put items in the chest on my... Wait, what? He's locked my chests. What does that even mean? Wait, are you serious? What? He's literally added a password to my chest. Wait a second. Is that upstairs as well? Okay, this is... Are you kidding me? Everything is locked. Can I break it? I can't even break them. Oh no. He's literally basically just stopped us from being able to get any of our stuff. Wait a second. Wait a second. I had a secret chest hidden. Let's see if you managed to find that as well. Oh, that's a good thing. At least he didn't find that. Why does he think for one moment that I'm going to replace all of his stuff when he only died because he was sneaking illegally into my house? Well, you know what? I have got a very good idea of what we can do. I recently added a mod called Chance Cubes to the game. Now, some of you might have seen this before. Let me just take it over here a little bit away from the house. Pretty much, you place it down and then you break it and something random happens. Uh, just like that. Wait, what, what did it? Oh, whoa! Two diamonds and a stick, that's pretty good. Now, the thing that can happen when you open these is either good or bad, but you don't know which. So if we place another one down and open it. Whoa, please don't be exploding. No, 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 no. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sometimes really bad things can happen. But I think this has given me an idea for the best troll ever. Jelly wants his stuff back? I don't think he deserves it. But why don't we give him the chance of getting it back? Now, you need to use lapis to craft these little chance blocks. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to fill his house with chance blocks. And that way, you know, we're giving him the chance that he's going to get his stuff back. But I mean, equally, there's a chance that everything blows up. There's also like a million other bad things that can happen. So I think this is going to be really interesting. So uh, let's head out to uh, his little house. I'm going to take these signs with me because I'm going to want to leave some signs for him as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to mean that I'm going to get my stuff back from my chest, but uh, he's definitely not going to mess with us again. Now, before I head over there, I do need to grab some food though as well. So let's just quickly do that. All right, I've grabbed some food from Cowtown, but I did want to quickly check on Craner and see how he is doing because it's been a little bit quiet. Uh, he hasn't really trolled me and I haven't really trolled him. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I think his treehouse is just over here somewhere. Wait, what? Wait a second. Where did his treehouse go? What the? Jelly burnt down my house. What? How did that happen? Jelly just burnt it down? What? Wait, what the heck is this? Karina's secret chest? What happened here? This is crazy. Okay. Um, to be honest, this just proves that we need to get Jelly's back because he's starting to go a little bit crazy. All right. Well, we're nearly at Jelly's house. Uh, it's been a while since we were last here. What is it? Oh, return my lost items here. This is the chest he wanted his stuff back in. All right. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Chance blocks. You know, I'm not going to lie. This house is extremely difficult to get to. I don't know why he made this so flipping complicated. Where did? Where is the entrance? I, I can't even figure this out. Oh, okay. I think I finally made it up. There we go. 
There must be a different way down that... I mean, there's stairs. I don't even know. All right. Hello, Jelly's house. Uh, okay. Looks relatively normal here. And peaceful, almost. There's a little bookshelf, a little area out here. His little basement. Oh, ooh. He's got his own password protected chest. That must have been where he was doing some tests or something. All right. Well, um, let's have a quick check upstairs. But other than that, I think we're just going to get placing. Didn't he have a pet in here somewhere? I guess I don't know where that went. All right. Well, uh, chance blocks. It is. <laughs> This is, uh, this is gonna be good. Honestly, I have no idea what is gonna happen, and I almost feel like I've already placed too many. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of spread them out, though. Um, oh my, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad. I feel like maybe I should even open one, just, just to open one in here. That's good. I think that's a few on this floor. Let's go and put a few down around here. There we go. Oh, this is so good. All right, that's a few spread out down there and now I guess we'll just we'll put some inside of his little storage area as well I'm pretty sure like once we place these he's not removing them at least not anytime soon What is this? What the oh, there's a little entrance area here. We'll put one there as well. Why not? Maybe one down towards here Oh, he's got like a little back entrance a little balcony. He can have one on his balcony kind of want to just put a bunch on his windows over here so when he looks at the house, he sees them all. I think that's going to be really funny. Okay. And then we'll put some on the windows upstairs as well. Just like here, here. So this is literally all he sees when he looks at the front of it. And I have one left. I can go back and get some more. But for now, I think that's where we're at. I'm going to place... Hmm. I'll place one just here as well. And then I'm going to put the signs right next to it. Actually, you know what? I kind of just want to open one myself. We can go back and get some more to place down around here as well. So let's just see if this one's any good. This would be really bad, though, if we accidentally destroy his entire house with one. Why does it say wait for it? Don't like the sound of that. What is going to happen? Just literally says wait for it. I'm waiting. Wait, now? Wait, what? Whoa! What the heck just happened? It just spawned a chance block and a TNT next to it. So it gave me a new one, but blew it up. Now I have to fix this. Wait, maybe the one that it spawned in is gonna fix it? Let's see. Oh, that didn't really fix it. The broken path to succeed. I mean, it, it sort of did. Okay, these chance blocks are honestly weird. This is gonna be so crazy when he opens an entire house worth of them. Anyway, let me just clean this up a little bit. Then I'll go and get some more chance blocks and we'll we'll take it to the next level. All right, well, that's that fixed up. Let's head off. Uh, oh, good thing there was boats down here and water. <laughs> All right, well, I got some more chance blocks. I've only got one more stack of 64 and there is no way I'm going to be able to make more of these. They are way too expensive to make. But one thing I did want to do is I just wanted to open one at Craner's house because he seems like he's been having some bad luck. So maybe if we give him a chance block and open it for him, if it's something good, we'll leave it there. If it's bad, well, that sucks to be him. To be honest with you, it's way too fun opening these chance blocks anyway. So another chance to do it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, we'll put it right here. And uh, this one's for Craner. Selecting random item. Oh, what is it going to be? And it's going to give it enchant- What is going on? It's giving him an enchanted item. An Aqua Infinity Torch. That's a little bit useless, to be honest. Uh, yeah. All right, let's put down a second one. Let's give him one more chance of something good. Heads or tails? Uh, it says in chat, heads or tails. What do I do? Heads. Oh, it was correct. Okay. Well, uh, that's for you then, I guess, Craner. Anyway, let's head back to Jelly. Well, we're back, but I have to figure out how to get up this thing again. I- did Jelly just purposely put it on a hill like this because it's just annoying to troll him? I feel like you did. Oh, I just realized I didn't fill this in. Well, that's all I have left, so uh, there you go. All right, so 60 more. I'm going to place one right here. So there's one outside, and then I'm just going to fill the rest with all of these. Uh, yeah, th this is... I, he might even need to move out of this house after this. But by the sounds of it, he burnt down Crane's house. So uh, I guess he deserved it? I don't, I don't know. I actually think we should maybe put some outside anyway and just spread those around um, just for the fun of it. I mean, it kind of fits in. A, a, okay, it doesn't really at all. Oh, he's got a little flat. I didn't even know he had this out here. Well, here's some, uh, here's some chance blocks for you. All right, and there we go. Chance blocks placed, bunch of them outside. Now we just need to leave some signs for him. Two hours later. And there we go. Signs have been placed. 
Hey, little jelly, I could not afford to give you all of your stuff back. So instead, I made a bunch of chance blocks for you and placed them all over your house to give you a chance of getting your stuff back. Good luck, slow go. Okay, um, I'm really looking forward to next episode when I come back here and see what effects this has had. It's going to be interesting. And there's also a thing called giant chance blocks. So if you think we should place a couple of those in Craner's house in the next video, wherever it might be, by the way, can someone snitch on him, please? Then click the like button. Remember, one like equals one giant chance block. Anyway, thank you for watching. There's some videos on the screen right here. You can click them. It'll take you straight there. Enjoy.